Hi beauties, it's Jean with Beauty and the Stamper and I'm gonna make a card today using this by my side. I am going to use the Hi Sweet Friend and this cute little girl here. They are so adorable and any of these can be used, any of these sayings. I just really like this set. So I've got some pretty peacock paper here. I've got a white base. I have a scrap of white as well. I have a matte layer in Pretty Peacock, and then I have some designer series paper, and this is gonna be a real fun, colorful card, so I'm gonna go ahead and use that. I'm gonna take my Pretty Peacock and the two and three eighths inch, hi! The two and three eighths inch punch, and punched out a circle here. So I've got that. Now we're gonna do our stamping. And the first bit of stamping, we're gonna use some Memento Tuxedo Black and our little girl here. And we're going to stamp her. And then I'm gonna color her in with some stamp and blends. And I'm going to choose her face color is going to be this uh, SU-1000. It's a great little pink color, and I just love it. And you're going to color it right through those glasses. And with this pink color, you don't really need to add any different tones if you don't want to. But we're going to get that all colored in. And then with that one, I also want to get a light gray granite. I'm going to take that end and we're going to buzz around her feet here just a little bit to give her something to be standing on so as she's just not out and about. So coloring up the rest of her and then punching out with the two and three eighths inch, we're going to grab something that looks like this. So we've got that piece taken care of. And now I'm gonna grab the saying, which is, hi, sweet friend. We're gonna go ahead and ink that up. Just like that. We're gonna get out our double oval punch. And I'm gonna put that hi, sweet friend right in the center there. just like that. And then in the other side of that oval, I'm gonna take my, oh, <laughs> I thought that came out. I'm gonna take the pretty peacock and I'm gonna put it right in the corner here because I want as little paper to be used as possible on that. So we've got that piece. This will be quite easy. We're just gonna get some stamp and seal. Get a piece of that and line that right up there. Once you get it lined, you just stick it right in there and you're good to go there. Now we're going to be putting these together. I'm going to get out my bone folder and burnish this down. put this all together and we'll see how cute this comes out. I'm just going to put some stamp and seal. And the way I line up my cards is I go corner, corner, make sure those are about the same, same here. And then if you cut it properly, you'll have a nice frame there. We're going to do the same thing here. I always get so sad on these double-sided papers because you have to choose a side. That's the hardest. And then we're going to do the same thing. Line that up. And there you go. Oh my gosh, this is super cute. Now on this one here, we're going to take and I'm going to put, it's the same exact size, so I just am going to 
layer it out a little bit just to give some dimension. And so I'm gonna put this just right about here. And there we go. Then we're gonna take our little Hello Sweet Friend. And we're gonna pop those two just like that. And they are gonna be so cute. I was thinking, oh, I was thinking about doing something like this, which I thought would be cute as well. But I think we're gonna go right along here. And we're going to put some dimensionals. Those are my minis. I'm looking for my larger ones. I'm gonna grab these. They're from my paper pumpkin. They always give you quite enough of the dimensionals when they give you the paper pumpkins. Then of course my take your pick tool. To take those off. Woo! <laughs> We're gonna stick this one right here. And then we're gonna do the same over here and kind of in the middle. And I'm gonna leave enough open because I want them to overlap. So you don't wanna put a dimensional here because you're gonna want those to overlap. So we're gonna take those off. And I will grab a little tiny bit of glue or tape and that's gonna hold that onto that piece as well to keep it all together. And there we go. The last thing we need to do is go through our wonderful little bits and baubles here and see if I could find something that goes really nice with, I think this one looks pretty, with that nice blue. Actually, I'm thinking about maybe that nice green on there would be good. So we're just going to take one, two, sorry about that dinging in the back, it's my computer telling me that it is ready to be um, done charging. <laughs> so there we go, look at how cute that came out, and then of course I have a piece here that was left over and I can add that to um, an envelope and have the envelope matching the uh, card here. So I hope you like this. If you do, please give me a big thumbs up. Thank you so much. And I hope you guys are having a great holiday weekend. All right, I will talk to you later. Have a great day. Bye.